us, but this is why the diseases are going up and up and up and up. It's simple. What do they say that this is the healthiest diet you can eat as a human animal? But in fact, this is the diet not for a human animal, but for an herbivore. And yes, we're omnivores, but what you and I haven't been told or taught that all of this converts to simple, simple sugar. Sugar is not the energy for our cells. Fat is. All these things must be converted to fat or else you die and you cannot thrive and survive. The more of this you eat, the higher your glucose levels and the complex carbs take longer to digest, which means you're secreting glucose into your bloodstream 24 seven, 365. Glucose levels that are higher cause something called glycation and just look up glycation, advanced glycation end products and rages, receptors for advanced glycation end products and learn and realize that the ages and rages due to a high glucose diet, sugar, my friends, salad, uh, zucchini, peppers, tomatoes, and more are all sugar. Yes. And so if white sugar is bad and soda is bad with a bunch of sugar, why is this good when your body knows the, no difference? These things are complex carbs, high glycemic or low glycemic index is actually the opposite of what is true. These things take too much time to digest in your system. The lengthy digestion causes the glucose to be secreted in the bloodstream 24-7, 365 because of complex carbs. But sugar, simple carbs, go into the bloodstream quickly. They go to the liver quickly. They convert to fat quickly. They are not the problem. This is But I know we're all told this is so healthy for us, but this is why the diseases are going up and up and up and up. It's simple. More fat, intermittently eat this if you're gonna eat it at all. Cook it well to simplify the carbs and add the fat. One time a day is what I say. Intermittent feasting and lengthy fasting is what we should be doing one meal a day, my friends not three to six grazing meals, which basically fill the bowels with the complex carbs, which is basically digesting and secreting glucose into your bloodstream 24-7, 365. You never really end the digestive secretion of glucose into your bloodstream ever. And anyone that says you need fiber, they don't know what they're talking about. Fiber is steel wool for the GI tract, which damages your body. And it causes the colitis, the Crohn's, the irritable bowel, the gastritis, the colitis, and more. It then causes the diabetes, the hypertension, the cancer, the strokes, and more. It damages the GI tract, the blood vessels, the liver, and every organ of your body. This is the unhealthy things to eat. I know no one says it, and I will get myself in trouble, I'm sure, but I'm a physician I'm a medical profession and my job is to learn the true science of the plant phytochemicals, the antigens, and the dirty bacteria and yeast and viruses that live on this nature's toilet paper I call salad, which is deadly for the human Ferrari, which you and I are the human Ferrari. Fatty ribeye steak with butter and salt. Fra gras, you must eat the liver and the organ meats, you must, and sea salt. There is some iodine in the sea salt. It's a small amount, but you only need a small amount when you don't eat this because this chelates and robs your bodies, your bowels, of the ability to digest and internalize the the micronutrients that your body needs. Remember, your body has no need ever to eat this. This is not an essential food. Fat and a little bit of protein. Remember, this causes glycation Glycation causes advanced glycation end products and rages, damaging the proteins and the lipoproteins and the molecules and the function of your body. And eventually, because you do this all the time, it's repetitive inflammation. And the story, my friends, is simple. This story is more simple than you'll ever know. It causes every disease we know. And I know no one wants to say it. Like fruits and vegetables. I grew up on it. I ate it 
from the dawn of time. Oh my God, oatmeal and Wheaties and Cheerios and all those really great, great healthy foods. My friends, they're sugar. You can eat them from time to time. They're okay from time to time. But when you eat these things all the time, you're filling your belly with too much of it too often and you're not eating the fat. Add the cream to a little bit of Cheerios and eat them from time to time. But remember, they're a plant. They're sugar. And if you eat them all the time, they cause glycation. And my friends, there's no such thing as oat milk or almond, mi oh, or almond milk. So these are some thoughts and ideas. Check out Dr. Robert Kilt's MD. Check out, oh, check out the Fertile Feast and uh, Dr. Kilt's Keto Lifestyle. Have an awesome day, my friends. Dr. Robert Kilt's MD. Live and strong.